This is Michael with Rock Legends Photographers. We're here at the Peach Festival with Pat Bergeson, who just got off stage with an outstanding performance from Le Brere. Thank you for taking the time with us, Pat. You're welcome. You're welcome. First question I have for you, how long have you been a professional musician? Uh, I've been a professional musician since full-time since 1985. Okay, so 32 years. Yeah, 32 wow. years. So yeah. in 32 years, you've played in a lot of venues. Which one is your favorite and why? Favorite venues? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a good question. I really like the Peach Fest. That's a great venue. I, I don't know if it's my favorite, but gosh, that's a hard question. I mean, I like all of them, to be honest with you. I mean, like, I, I know which ones I don't like, but the ones... Uh, I like any venue where it's just where you feel you ha are connecting with an audience. You know, Good where answer. You, where you're, it could be a house concert or it could be a big giant place. And if you feel like the audience is with you, then it's the greatest thing ever. Great answer. Yeah. Your entire music collection gets wiped out. What's the first CD you replace? First CD I replace? Wow. God, that's a good question. Wow, that's a really another really hard one. Boy, you're asking some hard questions today. Um, I don't know. God, that's really difficult. God, it's probably be a probably be like a a classical piece, you know, or, or would be a classical record, or would be um, uh, some uh, uh, Errol Garner, you know, uh, okay, or <laughs> something like that. All right. Um, living or dead, if you could jam with one person you haven't played with before, who would that be? Okay. Louis Armstrong. Very cool. He'd be a good person. Very good. Singer comes to your door, knocks on your door and says, Pat, I'm going to sing one song just for you. Who is the singer? What is the song? Um, the singer would be... Um, the singer would be my wife Annie Selleck, and the song would be That's All. Very cool. I'm sure she'll be glad to hear that. That's oh, a she, major yeah, brownie that's, piece. That's the truth. You know, when she, she sings that song, it just, I get transported. This song, I mean, this, this question comes from Lamar. At the end, I'm going to ask you a question, and this was his question that he answered the question with. What is it like to play with all these legends? Uh, it is a real joy to play with all these legends. It's absolute joy. I mean, I just, I've always loved Jack Pearson since the first time I saw him 25 years ago, and, and we became friends 25 years ago. And, um, and to play with all these guys that I grew up listening to, and, and that's, what, that's how I learned how to play guitar, was listening to the Allman Brothers and the, and the thought that someday down the road I would get to play with Butch and J Mo. And you know, Jack and all and Lamar and all these guys and Bruce. It's just unbelievable to me. You and know, then, just that that happened. It's just, I mean, it's just, it's, I still can't believe it. You know, I mean, I feel that way about a lot of people I've played with too. You know, just, and yesterday you know, at the jam, did you play with anybody that you hadn't played with before? At the jam? Oh yeah, several. I, I haven't played with, you know, I played with Warren Beans before, and I love him and and. Uh, and no, but I never played with Dwayne Betts or Devin Allman. You know. Yeah, Excellent. or Chuck Lavelle, of course. I mean, that that was an extreme privilege, you know. Yeah. Very cool. Um, Singer-songwriter wants to break into the business. He says, Pat, what advice would you give me? Singer-songwriter wants to break into the business. I would say the, the, the advice I would give any singer-songwriter is... is um, just write songs because you love writes, writing songs and don't do it because you're trying to pitch it to somebody in Nashville and get famous or whatever. I mean, if, if you do do that, you know, write for your own, out of your, from your own heart and do what comes from the inside you as an individual or not. Don't copy anybody. Do your own thing and, and do it because you love it and don't do it for any other reason. And, you know, learn another instrument. All right, you know, and how if you're about singer songwriter? Like, if you just sing, you know, and write songs, you know, play play the guitar and piano, and get really good on your instrument too, and learn how to tune your guitar. Songwriters learn how to tune your guitar. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. That was <laughs> going to be my next question: Is what advice do you have for the guitar player? <laughs> tune your guitar. Tune your guitar. If you're a guitar player, know how to tune it first. There you go. And then play your ass off. Last question and the hardest one. 
You've probably been interviewed many times in your 30 some years of being a professional. What question would you like to answer that no one's ever asked you? What question would I like to answer that nobody's ever asked? Um, <clears throat> do you play harmonica when you're driving in your car? And the answer to that would be no. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you for taking okay. the time with us. We really appreciate okay. it. And uh, th this was Pat Bergeson with Le Brer. And uh, do you have any other projects going right now? Um, I've been uh, working with my wife, Annie Selleck. We've been doing some duo gigs, and I've been touring with some with Tommy Emmanuel, the great Tommy Emmanuel, one of the best guitar players in the world. And a great guy and um, and I've been doing a lot of recording sessions and all all kinds of different stuff. Excellent. And, uh, it's a hot club of Nashville. You know I work with them and a lot of different things. Fantastic. Well thanks again for taking the time with us and we'll get you a link and we got some beautiful pictures of you oh, performing today. Wait. Wait all to right. Have a good one. All right you guys. Thank Give you. Me